Hi, folks. This is Don Meisner with the North Country Fishing Report. I got to tell you, I got a call from somebody that I've heard from through the years, Bobby Helms. Grew up on Tupper Lake, is probably one of the best fishermen I've ever known up there in that part of the Adirondacks. He's traveled all over the continent, guided in Alaska. Called me and he said, would you like to go ice fishing? So it started a conversation I had with Bobby about now that he's living here, he's living down in this area, about ice fishing in our area. And one of his first comments was, can you believe what we've seen with people congregating on the ice when the ice was so dangerous? And it's sort of the nature of what comes from this sport. Every year you see it. Every year people go through, and I don't want this to be negative. This is positive. I always want to try to give you positive messages, but here's the good thing. Because we've had so much cold weather over the last period of time, you know, we complain about the wind chill factor. What it's done is it's made the ice stronger, and it's made it deeper. And so now what Bobby was saying is people can get away from each other. They don't have to all be congregated in these areas where they think, okay, we can go. And some of the areas that we have right around us are wonderful ice fishing areas. Brandy Brook, every time I go by there, I hold my breath as I look out. But now I can look out and I can imagine all the wonderful fishing people are having because that's really sort of a, 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 a sanctuary for, for small walleyes. They come in there. It's a nursery. And like Bobby said, people can go out there. You can go out there ice fishing right now and probably catch 40 fish in a day. But most of them are going to be between 14 and 17 inches long. But some of our other areas, like White House Bay and Waddington, now there's an ice where it's making it safer. And remember one thing, when we're talking about safe ice, if you've got a backwater that doesn't have flowing, moving water, it's going to be probably, the ice is going to build better, it's going to be safer than where there's moving water. One of the places that we have is where the Grass River enters into the St. Lawrence. That's a, it's another spot that walleyes move into right now. And it's a very popular ice fishing spot. Wheat House Bay in Ogdensburg. I've been in there before where walleyes will move in. There's northern pike. There's all kinds of species. But again, that ice is, that's part of the moving St. Lawrence River area. So we got we to gotta give it some time because it may not be near as safe yet. And of course, Chippewa Bay. Chippewa is shallower. And uh, there's been a lot of people having some good luck out on Chippewa. So, you know, I asked Bobby, I said, Bobby, you grew up on Tupper Lake. We're hearing all kinds of reports about all the wonderful fishing in Tupper Lake, which there is. But he said, compared to the waters we have right around us right now, all you people listening to me, all these bays in the St. Lawrence and so forth. He said, on any given day down here, you can go out in these bays and you're going to catch something. You don't get that on some of the bigger inland lakes like Tupper and Cranberry and so forth. So we're really lucky to have this great fishing here. And, you know, now the ice fishing is can be done in somewhat of a safer manner. And I don't have to worry as much about constantly dwelling on spuds and spikes and, and <laughs> depths and so forth. I just think this is a time now we can really start to enjoy the phenomenal fishing we have in this area. Until next time, folks, this is Don Meisner with the North Country Fishing Report.